This is it. The Deathly Hallows. So for one last time, today we're gonna be improving that title because if I'm honest, The Deathly Hallows sucks. I get the Elder Wand was kind of important, but the cloak's been there since the first one. And what did the stone even do? He got to see his parents again. Great, big deal. What did it actually add to the plot? Nothing. <laughs> Potter and the Stone Stick and Blanket for a climax of a magical series. That's a very ordinary title. And I love it, I, I really do. Harry Potter and the Time Dumbledore Forgot to Tell People Stuff. Part seven. Yep, that's it. That, that, that's the title. Done. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel by Harry Potter and the directors who finally remembered Minerva McGonagall was in these movies. I genuinely think she had more lines in film 8 than she had from 3 to 7 put together. And before you say it, no, including her in the Fantastic Beasts series doesn't make up for it. Actually, it just makes things worse. She isn't supposed to be there. Harry Potter and Hermione Granger's dancing was more important than Regulus Black's backstory. And I'm still not over it. I don't think I'll ever be. The boy who finally died. I'm just gonna say, as a professional title improver, that's never gonna make the cut because it's got massive spoilers in it, so... You're gonna have to modify that a little to... I, I, I don't even know how to improve that at this state. You've just... Harry Potter and the Crimes of Voldemort. I mean, I had to include one, didn't I? Harry Potter and wow, all my favorite characters are dead. I mean, you probably just need to pick your favorite characters better at this point because, like, Hermione survived, Luna survived, Hagrid survived, Ron survived. Literally just one of them had to make your list and you'd be good. I, like, one of them. Harry Potter and the Horcrux heist. Honestly, anything to do with Horcruxes works for this film, and on that topic, anything to do with Horcruxes would be a great title for a rom-com, if you don't know what Horcruxes are from Harry Potter. Because if you do know, then that wouldn't be a great rom-com, and it would actually be quite scary. Snogging is a word, and it's a word that everyone has used. Have you ever heard of snogging in the bike shed? That would be a very weird title for the film, but it would also rationalise her use of the word snogging in the previous books, so... I could see J.K. Rowling doing that. <laughs> Harry Potter and the time Ginny didn't get to name any of her kids. Honestly, it gets me every time when I read the book. Like, she didn't get to name any of them. They're all to do with Harry. Like, I, I, I want to know how those conversations went down. Like, you know, I kind of like named Sebastian. And then Harry's saying, what? Did I ask? No. You don't get a say in this because you don't have dead parents. Harry Potter, Endgame. You know what? It's ahead of its time. I'll give you that. It could have done well. When I saw the first camping joke, I thought it was clever and funny, but now I've seen like a hundred of them and it's really taken away from the humor. This is just, I'm, I'm honestly just sick of it. So yeah, they went camping. We get it. Harry Potter and the year Ron made it out of the friend zone. Yeah, that did happen. Let's just relive that moment. It's a great moment, isn't it? Like. <laughs> just gets me every time. They literally transition from that to that, like, how are you gonna do that? Like, that's so funny. Harry Potter and the time Voldemort chose to fly instead of apparating because he secretly wants to lose. Okay, don't tell anyone, it's a secret he wants to lose. Harry Potter and the final jaw. Yeah, I like that one. Same with Harry Potter and the Battle of Hogwarts. I still haven't seen one comment suggesting it and I thought that'd be obvious, but maybe it was so obvious no one wants to suggest it because they know how obvious it is. Harry Potter and Dobby is totally in this one. Dobby is happy to be with his friend. But his death is so much less meaningful if you haven't seen him for five years. So why didn't they include it? I open at the close. Yeah, I really like that. I remember in the first episode where I had the idea to improve each of the titles without Harry Potter and the in them. Because that would be a great title for the Deathly Hallows. And you know what? I'm just gonna end it there. I open at the close. Imagine if that was the title for Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Because, yeah, I really like it. And that's all I've got for you guys today. And maybe forever. I'm genuinely considering making this the final ever episode of improving that title. I've been doing this series for almost a year now. And while I've enjoyed making these episodes, I just, I don't know how much I'm getting out of it as like a creative output anymore. I see them as like quick videos I can make in a day while I'm working on something longer and bigger. And that's pretty much how I make them. And I'm sure you'll comment down below about how much you're loving it and how you don't want me to stop. But I don't know, I just, I don't feel like I'm getting as much from it anymore. Maybe I'll read the comments and I'll be convinced to keep going. And if I do, go follow me on Twitter and I'll tweet out the next one when I do it. But 
For now, this series is on hold. We'll see what happens. Maybe this video will get loads of likes and I'll be convinced to keep going. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, do make sure to leave a like. You can subscribe to my channel by picking here. You can watch another video by picking here. You can check out my merch here and in the description down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, there won't be a next time. Oh, God.